hello and welcome friends so in this video we are going to see delete functionality so in previous video we have seen the create and edit functionality now we'll check the edit ed edit also so let me click on the delete it will delete it will call the function from the product ops controller and it will delete the record and it will uh, print the data as the record deleted successfully okay so let me show you before deleting any records you need we need to add uh, this uh, function inside the product model dot php file so like this uh, if we have the model which will interact with the database then we have the view which will uh, interact with the user and controller is something uh, uh, which is the mediator between the view and uh, model part so <coughs> sorry so like this uh, we need to create a delete product inside we are going to pass the product uh, product code and uh, we'll call this database function as delete where p code is p code okay so uh, come to the delete functionality uh, in the account.php page we have created a one uh, href link inside that uh, this is it will call on click on that it will call the product ops slash delete we are concatenating this uh, product code also so it will call the delete function with this product code so come to the product ops and product ops we have to delete it will accept the p code which is the product code and uh, we are going to call the product model we'll check if that record is exist already or not so we are going to call the product uh, get product by id if the product is empty so we'll say product is not found in the database so we cannot delete if the product is not empty then we are going to call the delete product function with p code and uh, we are going to set this success flash data as the record deleted successfully here okay and then we will redirect it to the user slash account page okay so like this we have done so we'll click on the delete it will delete the record and it will again route to the account dot account page user slash account page so let me refresh it once again as currently we have only three record present here so definitely it should be three records only should be in the database also so as you can see we have only three record now let me add one data and update it and again delete one data so uh, so that we we will uh, get all this CRUD operation in this uh, single video. So I'm going to add to this one as gh and party as uh, sm type as twenty and amount is as this one. Say add product. So it will uh, add this data inside my database and uh, so we have added 1004 which is the added now let me log out it and uh, we will log in with another user so that we will see the created by user and modified user will be different one so i'm going to log in with the abhi user and uh, as we'll get login we'll get all the product data on the front end so 1004 is also there now just click on edit and uh, edit will call the function uh, get by id from the back end and then it will uh, come to the front end also with all the uh, required data of the product now i will say here smm and type as the twin and amount should be 13200 and say update here that rest all this which we have created uh, that one uh, like uh, this one uh, required functionality like form well form level validation in the code ignitor that you can check check at your end also so we have updated this uh, record now let me check in the database if the that uh, added by user and uh, updated by user should be different for this 1004 product okay so record updated successfully here now come to the database also 
as you can see this is the SMMHG and uh, this is the inserted record and this is the last modified date as 838 and added by user is the Arvind and uh, updated by user is the Abhijit so in this video we have seen all this functionality just delete once again this classic record and uh, so in this video we have seen create edit and delete also and uh, I hope uh, you got all this idea if you have any doubt any question then please put in the comment section I will uh, definitely try to resolve on that I will definitely try to check on that and uh, uh, in next video we will see the log functionality in the coordinator so whatever we are going whatever we are doing here we will uh, put in the log also so that uh, we can uh, have any monitoring purpose like uh, all the function all the applications should have some logs logger file on all so we will check in the next video so please subscribe to my channel friend thank you so much